all right guys so apparently this person is a fat pole dancer we got pole bro how does she even get around the pole that is wild um okay i mean this isn't a huge influencer 660 followers that is really small but like this is crazy we got pole dancing off of some okay i don't want to see any more i don't want to see any more but um she has something to say here uh join the discord if you haven't already and uh yeah i have been late on posting for a while i have been really busy with my other youtube channel uh so apologize but i'm gonna try to get back into it all right so uh yeah let's listen to what she has to say And yes. as a direct result of that, you're afraid of talking about weight loss, Camera. you're afraid about talking about your desire to change your body or to lose weight because you feel like that goes against the movement um, or the idea of fat acceptance. That's not true. So let this be a PSA. You can change your body if you want to. Wanting to lose weight is not about hating your body. You can love the skin that you're in you can love your body you can uh, that's actually positive though i'm glad she has a really good outlook on this she's like you can change if you want to um like that's a lot better than somebody who's like no like you should never change you should always stay fat uh so like that is a lot better than a lot of these other creators who are like promoting obesity but it's still like you it's not like oh you could choose to be thin if you want to you should always choose to be thin, no matter if you want to or not. That is my stance, because that is the healthiest possible way you can live your life, and you can be a good role model to uh, impressionable people, right? So, um, I still think she's, well, I know she's wrong, <laughs> uh, but it's still a lot better. Like, I'm glad she she's still like, you can lose weight, like, losing weight's good, instead of like, society has these standards where, you know, these people, um, they always want to be thin, and things like that. Like, no, bro, like but like you you still shouldn't be pole dancing like that's kind of crazy I, I that is wow i'm gonna start this off by saying if you are easily offended by fat move the fuck along because i just i have to show this comparison i have a for real like look at all them back rolls Ugh. the belly belly bingo wings for days i weigh eight pounds more seven eight pounds more but that is different because you're at a lower body fat percentage the more muscle you do have and i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be completely honest i don't know how it is for women of how they can just like get fat in certain places instead of like having it overall i don't know how that works all right i just know for men that get more muscle and even if you're heavier you're at a lower body fat percentage so you're gonna be less fat she is less fat at 234 then this person is at 238 all right so you can't be like oh well see like she's 234 and she looks really good no that's because well yeah she does like look good right or like a lot better but she is at a lower body fat percentage or she could just be really tall right so me getting at 234 is a lot different than somebody else getting at 234 so some people are at a heavier weight but they're not fat you my friend are fat this is not healthy don't look at her and be like oh well, i'm only eight pounds heavier like i'm totally fine you are not fine you need to fix this you are more likely to die from a heart condition than she is wherever she was boom but that, that she is she's probably not gonna die anytime soon compared to the belly belly bingo wings for days I bingo wings for days i weigh eight pounds heavier that is crazy no no like that not good there is not one food that is more harmful than an eating disorder 100 percent. this absolutely last week in one of my what i eat in a day videos i had talked about how i was really struggling with my ed that day and how uh it was really wanting me to restrict and so in order to get myself to eat i made sure that i ate my safe foods which in all honesty one food is not more harmful 
there is not one food that is more harmful than it. well honestly that could be false because if you're yes if you're eating bad foods but you're not eating like crazy amount like somebody with an eating disorder has you're not going to be as heavy but at the same time you shouldn't be like oh well see like an eating disorder is so bad like there's not one food yeah that 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 could like have some truth to it but that doesn't mean if you have an eating disorder that you should just calm down on just any food you should still eat the right food you should eat more foods that are lower in calories if you have an eating disorder or a binge eating disorder right i don't know if that's that's the same thing but if i'm consuming a lot of healthy food you're still going to be at a lower weight than if you consume a lot of fast food it's going to be the same thing so it's like there's only some truth to that and this person says i always say eating something is better than eating nothing okay i mean you don't want to die right of starvation but at the same time you're like oh well i better eat something because i'm hungry you're probably not even hungry you're probably just eating bad foods that are making you more hungry than what you actually are or you're eating candy or something so bad to the point where you have calories in your system because you ate but you don't have the right nutrients because you're not eating to fuel yourself you're eating just to eat and you're putting bad food in your body good morning fatties um good I morning fatties is crazy i feel fat i wanted to make this video because why. i think there's a little bit of confusion around the phrase i feel fat i want to say right now i am not invalidating people who are legitimately legitimately diagnosed with body dysmorphia it's serious and it's an illness i get it but for the people who are just saying oh i have body dysmorphia because you feel shit about your body no 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 so this video is directed to the latter group of people you don't feel fat fat is not a feeling fat is an adjective it is a descriptor but it's incredibly harmful to use the statement, I feel fat. I don't know how it's harmful. If you feel fat, that means you feel like you have a lot more fat than what you have, or you feel like you have excess fat. You know, like if I eat a bunch of pizza, I'm gonna feel fat because I'm, I'm doing the same things that a fat person would feel. So, um, yeah i mean it's good to say like oh you guys don't have body dysmorphia because nowadays everybody wants to diagnose themselves with body dysmorphia or eating disorders or anything like that so that's good but like are, are you saying that to not make fun of fat people she's on the fat liberation fat except inside i understand this and agree because as a fat person it does not make me feel bad when people use fat as a feeling or i mean yeah fat is an adjective but you could also feel fat this is cat she should feel fat because she is fat but if she goes on a diet uh works out a lot but then all of a sudden she stops working out and eats a lot of bad food she's gonna feel fat because she would do the same thing as a fat person would as as she would when she was bigger so uh <laughs> same thing i don't know that was my fat acceptance for the day uh the pole dancing just really like threw me off in the beginning but uh, yeah stop even